This is a summary of our class from Saturday, February 14, 2009. The first thing we did was a sexy footwork variation that looks like this. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Five, and six, one, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, and four. Five, and six. Leaves remembering that when you want to do the cross, you need to take a diagonal step going behind you. And followers, just keep your feet underneath you so you are balanced. The next thing that we did, we learned a couple of dips. The first one was a dip from the inside turn, which will look like this. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, rock, step. Leads remembering that we need to start this turn a little bit earlier during the rock step so we can get our follow around the whole time. Follows remembering when you're being dipped you are bending your knees, your head should still be pointing straight at the ceiling. And the same thing goes for the leads. When you take your small step forward to support your follow, I'm just bending my knees down, and that's what makes the dip happen. The final, <clears throat> the final dip that we had was a sexy crossover dip from the cuddle position, and it looks like this. Five, six, seven, and drop. Remembering leads to take a step straight out to the side, and you'll be supporting some of your follow's weight on your thigh. This concludes our summary.